Presidential hopefuls and other politicians with an eye on 2020 are bringing their message here to Austin this weekend. South By is hosting them at sessions called Conversations About America's Future. KXAN's Steffi Lee explains what some are saying about how technology can shape our nation's next chapter. Talk a little bit about your, your issues around big tech. At one of the largest tech conferences, political leaders are making their case to address tech's influence on our everyday lives. Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar says her concerns are rooted in protecting people's privacy, touting a bill she's working on to fix that. With notice of breach and those kinds of things. The second thing is to look at the consumer pieces of this uh, in terms of how much um, they are making off of us. Senator Elizabeth Warren highlighted her latest plans to break up big tech companies like Google, Facebook, and Amazon. And it says we want to keep that marketplace competitive, not let a giant who has an incredible information advantage and a manipulative advantage be able to snuff you out. Both Democrats have entered the 2020 presidential race. Former Ohio Governor John Kasich says he hasn't made a decision on that yet. At some point, there's an there's a internal clock for all of us, and there are deadlines, but they're not here yet. He says new inventions in tech, if done right, will be a game changer in areas like transportation. No more drunk driving. Computers don't comb their hair. Computers don't text. Um, at least we should prevent them from the runaway, you know. Um, and, and I think we will have a safer world as a result of the development of autonomous vehicles. Former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld, who is eyeing the possibility of challenging President Donald Trump, says while technology is consuming... I'm not sure the answer is to blow up the companies. You know, it may be more societal, socializing. On the lineup for Sunday, Washington Governor Jay Inslee, former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Julian Castro, former Governor John Hickenlooper, as well as House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. In Austin, Steffi Lee, back to you. And South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg also spoke at today's session. The Democrat has launched a presidential exploratory committee. Buttigieg will also speak during a CNN town hall tomorrow evening at South by Southwest. President Trump is the only Republican in who so far has announced for the 2020 election.